We're going to start with a live look from Naples, Florida right now. This is south of Sarasota. You can see the strong winds uh, and water just rushing in there. It shows you Milton is not far behind. He's already making himself known there. Yeah, the storm is expected to slam Florida's west coast as far as landfall as a Category 3 tonight, uh, maybe toward the overnight hours for us. President Biden, Vice President Harris both briefed in uh, and on Milton today, warning it could be clearly one of the worst hurricane threats this century to the state of Florida. Today, outer bands already leaving some areas with tornadoes and a fair amount of flooding. This video out someone's front door was crazy to watch. What is next? Winds up to 120 miles an hour, maybe gusts beyond. On that as well. Storm surge in some spots could be as high as 12 feet. State officials tonight warning those who think they are used to coastal weather should probably think again. There will be no fire. There will be no EMS. There will be no police. Once we leave the island, you're on your own. This storm's going to be different. If you choose to stay, you're staying at your own risk. That is a message that's uh, been a familiar refrain with hurricanes of late. Many choosing to leave, though. We've seen the traffic over the last couple of days. They're going to safer areas, higher ground. But even that can be tough. Mass evacuations, clogged state highways, a lot of gas stations, especially in and around the Tampa area, running dry. Multiple airports in Florida, though, proactively have closed down operations. That does now tonight include Tampa International Airport. And just for some context, some perspective here, this is Milton from the International Space Station view. And just look at how massive this storm is. That is something we've talked a lot about. It's not just the size, though, that makes this storm so dangerous. It's the winds and the speed in which the storm is moving. Let's bring in First Alert meteorologist Jeff Ray to touch upon that. I think what caught my attention last night in our discussion was when Jeff talked about physical size of the storm that you yeah. highlighted with mm -hmm. the space view. It broadened out, and that automatically broadens out the the intense core of the hurricane where those really bad winds are yeah the the eye wall expanded a little bit but what was shocking is the tropical force winds expanded well they doubled in the coverage area now swallow the entire state when it crosses here tonight so the whole state of florida basically is going to get tropical force winds are higher the path holds it's going to strike south now of Tampa Bay. And you can see the eye of the storm swirling here on Tampa radar. It's gonna to continue to approach. Let me show you where it is right now. As I take a look through another radar source, you're going to see that we are talking about uh, the eye, the center of this elongated eye now about three hours away from reaching Sarasota. So that would be somewhere about nine o'clock their time. There it's sitting offshore about 60 miles. Venice is already reporting almost 80 mile per hour winds and look at the 50s up and down the coastline. So no one can move now. Everybody is locked in almost 60 mile per hour winds down in Punta Gorda. Because of the track of the storm going right over the south South end of the bay, the worst of the storm surge is actually going to be south. It is in the midland, mid part of Florida. By the time we get to midnight, it crosses the entire peninsula as a category one at least. So this is going to be a big path of destruction before it races across into open water. So that path right there, that's going to take about 12 hours and it is going to cause damage the entire way. Here's one of the forecast models again, showing that it is south of Tampa Bay. So these winds are going out. These winds are coming up and that's where the storm surge is going to be from Bradenton down over even to Fort Myers where it's going to be the worst. This is at 1230. You're still talking about 70, 80 mile per hour winds going on in Tampa, a city of 3 million people. It's still 70 mile per hour winds raining by the time you get in the middle of the night. Guys, they have a long night in store for them along the sun coast where they're going to have hurricane force winds basically across the night.